So I am in Jackson, Wyoming. I've been here since May. I'd say it's actually April I've been here. And I guided trips in Yellowstone and the Grand Tetons. Loved it. It was a great time. Fun time. Living the life of the guide again. I love that. Now, what I'm doing is going to California and my objective in California, like the reason I'm going to California is because I need to take back this auto home right here, this rooftop tent that is in uh, on the FJ. I gotta take that back in here. Let me show you the different angle of it. I bought it and it's just not what I want. So I'm going to San Jose and I'll take back this tent. It's a beautiful tent, but I don't need it. So here is the route. It's from Jackson, Wyoming to San Jose, California. It's going to take uh, 14 and a half hours. It looks like 949 miles, but that's where I need to go to drop off the rooftop tent that I, I bought. Thank you to Auto Home for letting me return it. I, you know, it was an impulse per purchase and just doesn't really fit very well on that on that roof rack. That's where I've been for quite a while. The Virginian Lodge. Two months there and then a month. The, the only thing about this place, the Virginian, is that that one does not have a kitchen, doesn't have a sink and doesn't have a uh, um, stove. But the one over here, I have this very top one, was it 421? That one has a kitchen, has a sink, has an extra bedroom, everything. You can go there from October 1st to April 31st and you can live for a thousand bucks a month in Jackson, Wyoming, which is actually pretty, pretty cheap. So it's affordable, you know, whenever I say a thousand bucks a month, you might say, well, I can go many places in the country for much less than a thousand dollars a month to live. But Jackson, Wyoming, you're really in a crisis for the renter. There aren't many places to go. So you have a real hard time renting for very cheap and that's one of the options you have. All right, I'm gonna bring the keys back. A man is rich in proportion to the number of things he can afford to live on in a different world. La 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 da. La la la. La la la. La da. La da. La 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 la. La la la. La la. So I, I've always noticed now that I've been using these mapping um, programs, these apps by Apple or Google or whatever, every time they give me a route, they always give me a route where in the middle of the route, I'm in the middle of nowhere where it's like open range and <laughs> just nothing for, for, for miles and miles around. I'm going from Jackson, Wyoming to San Jose, California, and this is what it looks like. This is middle of nothing. Well, look, actually, I always I do like the fact that I have the, the LED bar and I can flip the switch. Look at that. Now I can see. But definitely not the most direct route. I mean, it's the most direct route, but definitely doesn't um, put a preference in, on going on safe highways. It'll say, yeah, no problem. Go on the back roads. It'll be a, it'll be a, no problem whatsoever. Okay, so now that I'm at the California border with Nevada, I better sell my gun. I got a, just a little 22 mosquito pistol by six hour, and I better sell this thing to Cabela's before I uh, get into California, because I don't know the rules in California. 
So here I go, let's see what they give me for this thing. So they bought this thing for 200 bucks, which is not bad. So look, you know, I bought it for 350 bucks way back when, and they gave me $200 for it. Get it off my hands. They told me if I go into California, you have to have the gun locked up and empty, and you have to have your ammunition locked up in a separate place, and you can't reach both of them at the same time. Now I'm talking about locked up in a safe too. You can't, you not, you shouldn't be able to reach either one simultaneously. So I'm glad I got rid of it before I got to California. All right, put my seatbelt on. Yay, I made it to San Francisco. Right now I'm in the town of Marin, just north of San Francisco. And man, whoever killed my hair I look like I'm retired military. I look like I'm from Die Antwerp. I look like I should be <laughs> drinking coffee black at Denny's. I look like I'm the security guard at Denny's. I look like G.I. Joe action figure. <laughs> okay, so I'm an REI and I need to take back one of my sleeping mats. REI has a policy to where if you don't like it, you can return it. If it breaks down, you can return it. Now they give you one year just to return it if it's something you don't like and if it's defective, they give you lifetime. I have a sleeping pad I don't want. If you look back there, I have way too much stuff. Like I have to really, look, my bike's in there. F I had the rooftop tent I'm getting rid of. I'm turn. I'm getting rid of my possessions. I'm getting rid of all of my stuff. I need very simple, simple um, things. I need a camera, a computer, and gas. Well, I always have gas, but a man is rich in proportion to the number of things he can afford to let alone. Henry David Thoreau.